Hello guys, welcome back to channel Gairi and Salkai. Today we are going to enhance your anatomical wisdom by going through an interesting topic of blood supply to the brain and primarily we will talk about the circle of Willis. So let's begin by talking about its origin. Brain derives its blood supply from mainly two arterial systems which are the vertebral arterial system arising from the first part of subclavian artery and the internal carotid arterial system which is derived from the common carotid artery. Both these arteries arise in the neck and enter into the cranium. In the cranial vault, the terminal branches of both these arteries form an anastomosic circle known as circle of villus which is responsible for blood supply to cerebrum. Now let us see how both these arteries lead to formation of circle of villus. The vertebral artery arises from the neck and through the transverse foramina or cervical vertebra enters the skull. Then this vertebral artery gives a branch posteriorly to cerebellum known as posterior inferior cerebral artery commonly called pica. The pica along with vertebral artery gives off a branch posteriorly to spinal cord known as posterior spinal artery. Both the vertebral arteries also gives off an anterior branch to the spinal cord known as anterior spinal artery. Then as both these vertebral artery makes an exit from the medulla oblongata and enter the pons, they fuse together to form the basilar artery and just after the fusion of both the vertebral arteries arises the anterior inferior cerebellar artery which supplies the anterior portion of cerebellum. As this basilar artery is lying on the pons, it gives off several pontine arteries. Then at the level of midbrain, it gives superior cerebellar artery which supplies the topmost area of cerebellum. Then this basilar artery bifurcates into a posterior cerebral arteries and this posterior cerebral arteries form the posterior portion of the circle of villus. 20% of the blood supply to the brain is made by the vertebrovascular system of arteries whereas internal carotid artery arising from the common carotid artery supplies 80% of the blood to brain. This internal carotid artery has four main branches in the brain which are the ophthalmic artery, anterior carotid artery, the middle cerebral artery and the anterior cerebral artery and they form the anterior portion of circle of villus. The posterior communicating artery connects the middle cerebral artery to the posterior cerebral artery whereas the anterior communicating artery connects both the anterior cerebral arteries. Now learn this simple hack by which you will never forget about the blood supply to the brain. Assume villus to be an alien who came from the planet Verticato implying the circle of villus arises from the vertebral and internal carotid artery. Willis has four arms and four legs. He also has a pair of antennas, a pair of ears and pair of eyes. He also has a tail which arises anteriorly from his legs. Head of Willis is resting on the cerebrum, back is slouched over the pons and his legs are dangling down the medulla oblongata and the spinal cord. Just remember the alphabet A from both his antennas which represent the anterior cerebral artery. As Willis has only middle ear, his middle ears represent the middle cerebral artery. As the word eyes sounds like alphabet I, it represents the internal carotid artery. The first pair of arms of Willis are present posteriorly which tells us about the posterior cerebral artery whereas the first pair of legs are present anteriorly which tells us about the anterior inferior cerebellar artery. The second pair of arms are super arms which tells us about the superior cerebellar artery. The back represents the basilar artery. Now coming to second pair of legs, they look like an inverted V which tells us about the vertebral artery. His tail appears like an inverted A which tells us about the anterior spinal artery. Both his legs also possess a posterior thumb which represents the posterior inferior cerebellar artery. Therefore, by this approach of remembering Willis as an alien, you will never forget about the blood supply to the brain. So that's all for today guys. Hit the like and subscribe button, post your queries in the comment section and stay tuned for the journey of advanced cognition.